Hey everybody, welcome back to BDGC. Josh here, and I am out of state, actually not in Tennessee. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. So my girlfriend and I did a little a bit of a road trip this weekend. I'm actually playing Idlewild in Kentucky tomorrow. Figured I'd try and find a little nine hole course in Ohio because I've never played in Ohio before. So as you can see, I have found M. Schaff Woods in Cincinnati, Ohio frisbee golf course this course was put in the ground designed by steady ed everybody knows who steady ed hedrick is so uh this is a historic course it's just a little nine hole the ratings on it aren't that great but it's designed by steady ed so i had to come out to this course do a little nine hole round here as you can see old school this course was put in in 1981 it's older than me so the baskets look to possibly even be the original baskets they're very old baskets uh, some of them are very low to the ground but it looks like a beautiful course a little short uh, course but i'm so excited about this i actually have two discs you can see here that are dga discs i've got a steady here got steady ed's name on it and then a blowfly 2 which also has steady ed's name on it and just to pay some little bit of homage to steady ed i'm going to hide these two discs here on the course they have steady ed's name on them he designed this course godfather of disc golf so i'm going to hide them on the course so if you're in ohio you can come to the this course and if you find one take one and let somebody else take the other don't try not to take both if you don't mind so anyway like i said M. Schaff Woods Disc Golf Course in Cincinnati, Ohio. My first ever round in Ohio, and so you get to watch it. So thanks to my girlfriend Amanda for recording, and let's go play. First throw of the day, just so you know. Oh my god. Well. Oh, you got something on your neck. What is it? Probably the whole Dirt. forest back there. That was, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> All right, so uh, hole two here. Luckily, these are par fours. I'm going to play it as that Steady had designed it, so that five on hole one was a bogey instead of a double bogey. Thank goodness. It's par four, 225 feet. Going to the All right, hole number three here, 245 feet. I'm going to call Who XG. Big sweeping hyzer. Try and land near the basket. Can't do much with these old baskets, but love them. So, that is why I'm accepting these as par fours. Because I know that's going to happen on like every other hole. That's two for three so far, so. That's still a birdie. Oh. 
All right, hole four here is 275 feet. It goes downhill and then up to the right of that tree and uphill from there. So it's uh, also, actually, yeah, this one is also a par four, as it says on the sign. Um, like I said, I'm accepting that because of these baskets right now. So they're leaning and they're older than me. So um, we're going to, uh, just do another hyzer. Just try and get over the top of that. I don't know if I got the arm, but we're going to see. Oh, no. Oh. No. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm oh. ready. I was like, how long are we going to do this for? All right. <laughs> Okay, so just as suspected, I did not have the arm to get over this sycamore tree here. So, I landed at the base of the hill, right in this ravine, uh, still up there. It's going to be kind of a difficult upshot because i got to do this, as you can see here. Someone please comment and tell me how you missed low on this basket. Please. Oh. 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 five, two forty five. 48. Hole 5, 248, and it's uh, pretty much dead straight, low basket, throw it close, sit down, and put. <laughs> this, by the way, is the Atomic Pekka Pekka. to the area and your PFN champion orc in the woods down there not there like in the tall grass so I'm gonna leave it here for you. Come get it. Alright hole six here is uh par five like I said I'm counting what the par says going by what steady ed said. Uh 260 feet. Let's go down the hill and then up the hill. That made a lot of sense. Grandmother's house we go. Going with my Kahu XG. Gonna we'll throw a little bit of turn on it. Hope it'll turn over a little and flex back. Get inside the basket. That is not the basket I was aiming for. It's way right of that. So. <laughs> All right, hole number seven here another part four and it's four 274 feet pretty much uphill most of the way so I actually do need a driver on this one so Kahu XG again get some turn hopefully get up there and have a good day
Okay, hole number eight is 255 feet uh, downhill, par four once again. Um, you can see it straight right down through there. I'm gonna go with this Pekka Pekka and just do a little turnover and uh, see what we can do. I just smacked a honeybee with my hand, so I may be stung momentarily. We're good. All right. Sorry there, honeybee. Didn't turn it at all. Once again, that's why I'm accepting them as par fours. All right, hole nine, the final hole here at Emshoff Woods. Uh, it's 210 feet, the only par three, actual par three on the course. So um, I'm gonna go with the putter, slower speed. I'm gonna do like the turnover because I know that's what a lot of the old school players used to do. And after I throw my two i I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw that blow fly and that steady also on this hole. Might as well, I'd be, I'd feel terrible if I didn't throw a steady ed disc that I had on the steady ed course. Here we go. Turn over this Tui, see what we can do. Woo. It's gonna be rough. All right, let's try this steady. Maybe steady yet, it'll give me some love on this one. Tree gave you some love. Yeah. All right, last one. Blow fly. If you've never bagged one of these, you need to. <laughs> It'll just sit. And it's understable. Oh, wow. So. All right, everybody, that's it for the video. I'm not exactly sure where I finished the course part. I do know if playing these ball threes, I finished well over par. Not the best of my rounds. Um, like I said, I've been driving for four hours today and uh, just got out no warm ups and just played around. So it kind of showed, to be honest. Um, but fun little course. If you're in this area, check it out. Baskets are not in the best shape. It's kind of Kind of concrete around each basket so they might cause some dings in your putters and things like that but overall if you're in the area steady ed course godfather of disc golf so gotta get out here i did hide those two steady ed putters here on the course so if you're in the area come get them they're yours one each please let two people get one um that's it thanks for watching as i said we're in Imshoff woods in cincinnati ohio my first ever round Thanks again to my lovely lady Amanda for filming behind the camera. I appreciate it. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf anywhere.